story is The Bugliest Bug by Carol Diggory Shields. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? You could be the bugliest bug of them all. A contest for insects, news buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young Gamesley Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who the bugliest bug turns out. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flirting and flittery and jittery, hoping for a few bites. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed. From tiny noceums to fat termite queens, some had great big pincers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Dilly kept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweets of little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings that are tied to their backs with horsemanship swings. Click beetles clacked and whirligigs whirled. Crickets sang solos and swallowtails twirled and ladybugs curtsied and tumblebugs flipped. The judges applauded. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then, sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim-flam-boozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. The big judge hissed softly, too late for you all. It's curtain time now, and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we like you best. Much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. This looked like the end. But Tilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what insects do best. So... Charged yelled the squadron of swift soldier flies and bombarded the, the bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the nest. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. Army ants marched and mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united and gave off their worst smells. P.U. we give up! The spiders all yelled. They scuttled away. Hooray! cried the bugs, giving high sixes fuzzy warm hugs. The cicadas piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we would all have been dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly's the bugliest bug of them all. The